Hello YouTube, Infinite Match Ray community, Gandalf here. As much as Nordak probably is the right choice, I just couldn't resist. Um, so you can see I got my all caster, minimal investment, I just need scrolls, don't need anything else. Um, I already went from like 90% farm rate to on 22 to clearing 23 easily. We're gonna do 24 now. Um, here's kind of the setup uh, space. Um, Catherine is gonna need to go. Um, and just on the counter attack, is gonna eat the first snipe. Um, Catherine can go, I mean, space can go and do a heal, probably not required. Maybe Let's just do a heal for saves. Uh, Hazandra is not going to do anything. The second wave, Catherine is going to... I don't even feel like um, I need the shield on the second one because everything is just going to instantly die. Um, Hazandra is going to shield flame. Block off the bully. And all caster is gone by then. And Hazandra can start off with strong arm. And everything else just dies from there. All right, let's let's watch some uh, amazing stuff. We're on stage twenty-four now, guys, um, and this is just great fun. I, I know this has been shown a long time ago, but man, this is fun. Um, you can see that. Um, hopefully, I don't get sniped to death. Um, I think the having both tenacity up and having consolidation there helps a huge amount uh, and with all the counter attacks here um, you're kind of safe like I'm in no danger whatsoever okay that was a little bit dangerous maybe maybe I should have used the shield okay hold on hold on we, we deserve a redo there I wasn't expecting um that much shenanigan from um from uh, the from the um yeah I wasn't expecting that much shenanigan from Mr. Sinton there. That was a uh, uh, a lot of counterattacks. So you can see all caster always gets targeted first. That means I don't have to eat two of those big snipes and those big snipes for sure hurts a ton. Okay, so all those dots, everyone should be dying. It's just Sinton is um, just not being very nice here. So now you can see uh, we're at four stacks. Having that shield really helps. I think I know what the problem is. It's the fact that space is um, giving him way too many turns. Now watch this. <laughs> Did you see that? Okay, everyone guarantee gets one HP burn and just one layer of dot just kills everyone. Okay, that's how beautiful this is. Um, space with E1 is just doing too much turn meter reduction. That That's the annoying part. Okay, so counter attack. Yep. We're going to counter everyone. <laughs> Two layers of dot, everything dies. And three layers of dots does so much damage. Just absurd. Uh, I'm doing like the maximum possible damage right now. Each HP burn is like doing 700k. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. Um, I f effectively kind of got three additional stages cleared because of this. Which is awesome. Um, so there you go. So if you if you feel like you're tanky enough, right? Like, like um, you don't need this all caster buff is massive, right? And um, what I'm gonna do today on make sale um, Nova trial is I'm gonna get Mr. Mackin, and Mr. Mackin is gonna help me with my red tower mark. And guess what I'm gonna do? I am going to do Mackin. Uh, with all caster and Catherine and uh, women there, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, like we're gonna have a we're gonna push real hard because with that massive buff, I should be able to 
absolutely shred any content and still have all the survivability from the remaining heroes. Yes, I understand. I'm not going to be able to get, um, I'm not going to be able to get uh, three star on them, but I'm going to be able to farm a much, much higher stage. Um, and I think that's going to be great. Um, I, at some point, if I want to get sick of this um, and I feel like, okay, like survivability is now getting to a point where I can't survive anymore. Um, you know, I'll switch it over to Nordak or hopefully by then I already have gotten enough uh, on Nordak. Uh, in the guild, let's see. Oh, someone, did someone leave or? Oh, oh, or is there more to it? Oh, did I? Hold on. Someone's saying. Uh, uh, guild setting. Okay, let's lower it a little bit. I I thought I thought people would have been able to be fine. I see a lot of people with um. Seven hundred plus. I I'm not seven hundred and fifty yet, so I guess that's hypocritical of me saying that. Um. Let's do six hundred. I think for the most part everyone's being active now, right? Okay, there's one person that's one day, so it's kind of on the watch list. Let me let me lower it. Um, you probably should be like even if you're low, like free to play, like getting to five hundred isn't hard, right? Like all you need to do is just actually put some of your lower level heroes, like for example, this, put them all at level a hundred, and you're getting a ton of power from that. Just saying, like um. And besides, for your advanced team, you probably need to get some, unless you're out of food, right? Like you really should have aim for all the other heroes first. Like that, that just squeezed a little bit more power for out for me. Okay. Okay, maybe, maybe I was being hypocritical a little bit there. So I lower the power requirement there. Um, good call out there. Sorry, back to the showcase. Um, so I am, I am 19 away. Right. What I can do is either use all caster, fully level him up. The problem is once I fully level him up, he's not going to die and be targeted instantaneously first turn. Maybe maybe he will be if he's ungeared. That's a possible option, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to risk that at this point. Um, I mean, this weekend, we'll see. I, I'm going to I'm going to level up that Mac him first. Uh, at some point, I will level up the all caster, and you know it will it'll be great. It'll be great. Just just trust me on that. I'm just gonna quickly raid this, and by the way, raiding will make your life so much easier. And right now, you really make sure you use the, those because you got you should always farm the highest stage you have in these. Uh, I would highly recommend getting everything to ten first before you, just simply because the value is so high for how little you have to use. And then there, I will prioritize speed. Then probably uh, the next one, which is whatever is going to help you the most. For me, I will probably do speed first. Then I'll do HP or alternate between the two. Always do D stats first with the exception of speed. D's three over here, the percentages, you're not going to get as much value out of them out of these ones. So I will recommend getting these to 20 first, then these to 20, then these to 30. Uh, speed always priority over everything else. Uh, what else should I say? Oh, by the way, there's a new battle pass thingy as if one battle pass is enough. At least it seems like this is stuff we do on a daily basis anyways. Oh, okay. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. This is very combat focused. So if you're doing all your combat stuff every day, you should be fine. I feel like it's a little bit better than the random stuff we get in the battle order. And it's all a 14 day cooldown. So, and of course they're going to sell you more stuff and, um, Oh, these blessing selection chests for oh for twenty four dollars. Oh, it's just getting cheaper and cheaper, and you get all these gear sets. Oh, twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars. Uh, if you do plan to get it, uh, use my app toy code. Just throwing the plug out there for you. Um, make sure to do all of your arenas. I still haven't done them yet. Um, Hulkaster is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I will probably level up Hulkaster. I I really think I will because. Um, his CC is going to be really, really good. And early game PVP CCs are just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so let's go back to farming. Let's see if we can do 25. Or is 25 too much? Let, let's give it a try. So again, same idea. We're going to... 
Oh, these counters are hitting real hard now. A little bit too much. He's oh four. Oh my god. Am I gonna survive this nuke from from the I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. The the problem is more so that I really just need to get um like the moment things start dying, Hazan just gonna get all those stacks. The, the the thing is, there we go. Okay, good. Second wave should be a just nice clean AOE. And everything should die. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, I probably don't need to do the consolidation there. I probably need to um, just make sure I unclick that next time. Oh, oh no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This. Oh, good, good. Oh my god, hitting way too hard. Um... feel like we just need to do the settings properly here, right? And and I feel like it should be consistent. So for example, wave two, we make sure Atkins doesn't do this. Wave three, we start off with this. Catherine should have her thing back up by now. Solid Guardian. Yeah, wave two, let's do. <sighs> yeah, Catherine would have went enough times for it uh, to, to go. Um... Space one, I do need the heal. I want to make sure I only use one of these heals just to be safe. Wave two, we don't use any of the heals. We really have to start with the other one. Hazanja, I think we're okay. Let's try that one more time. Man, getting to stage 25 this early just feels so insane. Um, but getting hit like that. Oh my God, really? Really? You're supposed to target the lowest HP... Like, why did you snipe me? Uh, like, this makes no sense. Like, here, I'm just going to edit a little bit. And, like, I never seen Atkin hit. So maybe I'll just swap these two spots. Is it purely random? Like if it's purely random, I'm not gonna farm 25. This is this is a little bit absurd. Or does it know like because the counter attack there uh, hit Hazanja so hard that Hazanja was gonna die, then it killed the Hazanja? I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. At least the shield went up. Okay, I think as soon as stuff starts dying, we're gonna be okay. Consolidation. And on this one, we just HP burn everyone. Yes. Shield, shield. Okay, I think we're safe. Or Hazanja. Oh, Hazanja can't do anything. Okay, but as long as I got all this stuff up, I'm safe, right? Okay, I think it should be easy from here. Um... Come on, space, get get that slowdown in there. Oh. Did I accidentally untick? Okay, no, good, good. That was bad. As long as we have shields, we're okay. Oh, these shields are hitting way too hard. I, th I think we should stop. I think we should probably just farm 24 for sanity sake because 20, this is looking awfully dangerous. Just, just because everything could just seem simply get wiped in one shot. So, there you go. We did, um, we did 25 uh, with a cheese. Um, three levels higher. Um, feels, feels good. Um, of course, we can do some, we can do some more, more stuff here, right? I think. I mean, the idea is the same, right? Um, the idea is gonna be the same because turn one, I can really, really focus on just. Doing a lot of the counterattacks, and I'm really hoping they kill my all caster, please. Yes, come on, come on. Thank you. Now the magic begins. Is 
So that's why it's super important, right? To make sure all caster doesn't get any levels. The cheese only works this way. So look at that. So beautiful. Just so beautiful. Now everyone gets the... Oh, those debuff strips. Oh, okay. Now everything's going to die. Everything's going to die. Don't worry about it. Um, I think the only problem we're going to have to deal with is are we going to be tanky enough to survive Marius? Okay, next stage. And like these dungeon, right? Um, now, of course, now, if you have trouble surviving waves, right, um, like between cat, like this is why I want Catherine E2 so badly, because that gets me to the 60% shield, allowing me to tank more stuff. But we will get to some point where, you know, having Nordak and having you alternate and just to have be able to go through an entire turn where you're not having to take any damage is going to be huge right here. We're seeing, you know, a lot of damage taken. Yes, this HP burn is going to just take care of everything. And then now we space shield. That strip is going to hurt. Okay. Excellent. Stage 20 is in the bag. All right, more eggs. Let's go. 21. Let's see how far we can push. We'll stop. We'll stop when we when we when we get wiped. I feel like this stage is actually a little bit more less punishing. Um, because once you have all your stuff up, right, like, um, there's so much AOE in this wave and your all caster is guaranteed to die. The, the scary part is that the poison might hurt a bit more than, than I anticipate. This stage you get the nice AOE and everything dies, right? This is the one turn where you can get all of your cooldown back. Now, things do get a little bit tricky because I think, yeah, you get the debuff up and then you can't dot them anymore, which I kind of hate about this stage. Um, we're going to have to survive a lot of stuff. And, of course, Mr. Uh, Marius has... a. Uh, this is where Atkins is, I feel like, really good because you see all these uh, crit and damage reduction. It's making sure that I don't die to like, um, like one of his skills too easily. And the consolidation, of course, really helps. Alternating between the two. There you go. Nice, clean, clear. Next one. The, the the cleanse up front though that definitely is um is a, is going to be a problem. I th I feel like we can get to twenty three twenty twenty four might be a might be a stretch. Or is twenty two going to be? Oh, that's a lot of poison stacks. I don't like that. Okay, good. This is easy. Oh, I just noticed um, the fact that um, they got the extra heal stack allow me to proc my E1 Atkins, and everyone got everyone got a whole bunch of terminator. I don't know. I don't know if you noticed that, which is actually a saving grace here, allowing me to um, jump ahead of that TAF before um, before having to deal with um, 
his ultimate, which will then stun up my entire team and do a lot of poison damage to me. Like, I feel like that Taf uh, ultimate here is probably more dangerous at the beginning, at the, st at the start. Um, Catherine E1 will definitely help a lot too, getting rid of some of the, the poison debuffs as well. Okay, 22 is in the bag. As I mentioned in the previous video, like being able to farm higher stages and dungeons is going to be huge. Now, I, now I do believe that with Nordak, you will you will have an easier time running like four supports with your Hazanja. Um, definitely an option. You're not going to die. Hazanja eventually will kill the enemy. Um, the question is, will the boss get to a point where he can one shot you? Or are we going to be seeing like, I just find this is far more efficient. The runs are faster. Um, and, I, and I do believe this is still okay where you run blue stacks with the macro recorder where you kind of, you know, I, I know early game, you don't have a lot of multi battles. You can technically run blue stack in the background. Like if you choose to, I don't think anybody's officially gotten into trouble for it. Um, but again, I'll say that do that at your own risk. Uh, I don't want to, you know, be responsible for any of that particular outcome, but I do use blue stacks um, uh, for those that do wonder. Um, there we go. 23 seems to be in the bag as well. We're going to go to 24. This is awesome. So yeah, if you're waiting, if you're, this is, um, uh, this, this again, this cheese can be applied, um, to, to any of the dungeon stages. You can do this as an elemental city as well. Pretty much anything with like a three stage where, you know, not getting like, uh, not having to lose any allies. So, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna help. We'll do one more. Like there's going to be at some point where I, I'm going to struggle with the waves, right? Like um, we kind of saw with Gurlin already, like there's some point where the waves get so brutal that I can't handle it. Like for example, right now, like, yeah, it's just too many poison layers there. So we're going to, we're going to stop here. I think that's kind of fun enough. Um, we just need more health on that Hazanja and, and we're good to go. Maybe Hazanja doesn't have to be that fast. And, you know, in hindsight, I could have given him probably a little bit more health. Um, yeah, do. Oh, yeah. This is also the part where I say, you know, because of this, I don't need accuracy set as, as much as anymore, right? Because I'm not going to rely on effective hit. Um, but maybe for the first round of dots before, to get that first kill, probably still need some. Anyways, I hope that kind of proved my point. Or, I mean, there wasn't much to prove anyways. I mean, it was kind of a known thing. But at least give you an alternative, right? Like, um, so you don't have to feel like, hey, I have to pick Nordak. But if I have, you know, if you need survivability, definitely needs to. Um, uh <laughs> Thought people would be stronger. Um, next rerun, usually three to six months before rerun boxes have them um, three months out. Okay, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the video um, and I will see you next time. Don't forget, today is the last day. Um, so if you happen to get anything here, um, there's a lot of good deals um, for people. Who, the other one is, I was talking to Jonas. So if you don't know, Jonas is one of the, the community managers actually from DH Games. Um, and I was talking to him, I was like, um, you know, people are sick of doing the Mackins, but we have kind of the Mackin trials. Moshi is kind of like your upgraded version. I was like, you know, you could do mysterious boxes and, you know, make Melosha a little bit more cheaper. Like, imagine if Melosh was a lot cheaper and um, you could have gotten him. Like, this makes Anna a lot more viable. 
Um, I guess Maloche is, you know, you can get it as one of the selection chests, but it'll be nice. Like I said, I, to I told him, hopefully, you know, for future players, if we ever see Maloche being much cheaper, like in the 2 to $5 range, that that gives us a third option instead of, you know, go Mackin or go Moshi. Um, you can actually make Anna work or not rely on Feist. Like I, I'm going to, I'm going to showcase Feist. Don't worry. I'll showcase it in the future. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, <laughs> oh, thanks guys. All oh, these things. Oh, thanks. Yeah, there's a spot now. Okay. Anyways, I'll end the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Gandalf out.